Dad, we're going to show you four to five books that we really like this year. We hope you like them. Yes, we are. So happy 2017. Emma, do you want to start with your first book? My first book is Wings of Fire. So Wings of Fire is a series about five dragons that are supposed to be in this prophecy, but they find out the prophecy isn't fake later on, and I hope you guys really like it if you try it out. Very nice. So I'm going to start with a fiction book that I liked this year. Um, it feels, um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of... It feels too easy almost to like it, but um, The Iliad by Homer, which of course is a classic work of Western literature, but um, I really did genuinely like it. I enjoyed it. It's a little bit of a slog in parts because it's just kind of a very ancient form of writing, but uh, but that's one of the things I liked, liked about it. So I really like The Iliad this year. Okay, what's your next one, Emma? My next one is actually by our your mom. What? Zippity Zern's A Collie. I recommend collage. A collage. I recommend you read this book. It also has websites on it, so look it up. Yeah, and Hope this, you like it. And if so you try this it. is kind of like some of the um, adventures and whatnot of the, the Zern, Zern family. family. And they're mostly correct. A little exaggerated for artistic effect, I think. Um, so I'm going to do a non-fiction book. Um, this book I really enjoyed. It's called Manliness by Harvey Mansfield, which... Mansfield. <laughs> Manliness by Mansfield, that's right. And I mentioned in my review that it feels a little awkward reading a book called Manliness in public, <laughs> um, but it's really, really good. Uh, it's uh, kind of an exploration of masculinity and femininity and feminism and society and gender neutral society and really challenging stuff um, I think and a uh, great uh, conversation starter but for some people I guess but for me <laughs> okay go okay my fourth book well third book is upside down magic I think it's really good for middle schoolers since it explains that being normal isn't always the best solution mm. What does that mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> You'd have to read the book to figure it out. Um, the next one is uh, a fiction book, um, The Great Divorce by C.S. Lewis. Really short book. It's not very long at all, but man, there is some really, really profound stuff in this book. Why is it um, called it's the great called The Great Divorce. Divorce. And shh, sis, you're the camera person. Um, the, the reason it's called The Great Divorce is because it's about people after they have died. And it's kind of this little story about um, people in the spirit world and, and letting go of the here and now in order to go to heaven. How a lot of people can't go to heaven because they can't let go of what they had here. Absolutely fantastic. Of the past. Yeah, or the past or material things or just excellent book. Loved it. Okay. So my fourth book, this is going to be my end book, The Son of Neptune. It is a really good Percy Jackson book made by yours, made by one of the best authors ever, I think, mm. Rick Riordan. He is a really good author. He has tons of other books, too, so I might want to go check those out, too. High, pra high praise, indeed. Um, the next one is a fiction book, Following the Strand Line. Um, which is by our grand your my grandma, grandma, my mom, right? This is the second in the Strandline series, and it's good. It doesn't suffer from a lot of the a lot of the problems that second books in a trilogy have. Um, it, do, it doesn't feel stalled. It feels like the story pushes forward, which is really good. And in this one, it pushes forward in a very substantial and consequential way, which I liked a lot. It's a good read. It'll keep you reading, Page Turner. Um, so I encourage you to pick that one up, and then. Um, that was your last one, right? Mm -hmm. So the last one that I'll mention that I really liked this year is a book called The Caped Crusade, um, Batman and the Rise of Nerd Culture, which a friend of mine got for me. And I I did not expect to enjoy this book as much as I did. I have, I've loved Batman for years and years and years. He's always loved Batman. I always loved Batman. I'd honestly say since diapers. Maybe since diapers. And... Um, but one of the things I liked about it was that uh, I understand, it helped me understand a lot more the nerd culture that I didn't really understand 
up to this point until reading this book and understanding why people get so, I mean, angry about if you criticize something that they love, comic book wise, that they love. It, this book helped me a lot kind of understand where people are, are coming from. Um, by the way, Civil War is still a terrible movie. Uh, so that's our 2017. We uh, hope you check them out in 2018. Yeah, we're going to keep reading in 2018. We hope you keep reading as well. And uh, we'll see you next year. Thanks. Bye. Bye.